Hey guys, Picano here, bringing you guys on the GTA 5 video. In today's video, the new lowrider has just been announced, which is the minivan. The minivan, which, to be honest, in stock form, looks horrendous. But anyway, you can buy this for 30,000, 30,000 of your hard-earned cash in this game. And we're going to see what we can do to this car. Now, I will say one thing. As usual, we're not going to be doing any performance upgrades because this is not a supercar. So we're going to upgrade it straight away. And you can see straight away that the door handles and the plastic stuff at the bottom just sort of vanishes, makes it a cleaner look. And yeah, so the first thing I can see is the engine in terms of the design. So let's, we can have a little ramble through here. And we're just going to go, we'll go with, we we'll go with that and then pit cylinders. Yeah. Hmm. The exhaust. Rubbish. Absolutely horrendous. But anyway, grill. I'm. Is anyone actually preferring the stock grill? Because I'm preferring the stock grill because it just looks so much better. Don't like any. Don't like too much chrome. Hydraulics. You can go an absolute fortune on these. Obviously, but um, but yeah, it's just one of those things. Interior. So is there anything new? Is this going to be copy and paste? So it's going to be. Ooh. Alright, so that's kind of interesting. We'll go with the third option. I think that's going to be the best. And we can go all out. Let's go for a blue. Let's go try and find a blue here. So blue might look quite interesting. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Um, and then we've got the little guy. Oh, we always go with the first guy. He's always there. And then dials, we're just going to go for like a nice sort of plain design. Um... Oh shit, what's this? Oh, this reminds me of the Moonbeam. Yeah, this one with all the speakers. That's pretty cool. Seats, but sort of custom seats, why not? Steering wheel, oh my god. Look how much steering wheels are, like, I forget how much these things are. I don't know, is there like a black one? Let's try and find a black one with, there it is, let's go with that. Um, and then, ooh, okay, let's just rep the LS on here. And then let's put the dials in sort of like a nice white. And then and then we've got the actual uh, the actual liveries. Now the liveries are something that can either work or can fail. And to be honest with you, every single livery that I've seen so far it looks like a copy and paste. Oh, except this one. So this one here is kind of new. So that's that's pretty interesting. Um but normally I go for a clean look, but you but Let's. Um, I think. I think we should just go for. I think we should just go for. Yeah. Let's just go for the. Uh, let's just go for the bottom one because, why not? You know why not? Let's just go with that and just see what we can do with it. So, now we've actually got the plate on the uh, on the back with the design. I think I'm actually coming down with a call because my throat is actually killing me right now. But anyway, we're going to put it in a black plate. And then we're going to see the colours. Uh, I'm not feeling a matte, so let's go back to uh, let's 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 go back to uh, metallic colours because yeah. So because we got the interior in blue, I'm thinking going for like a nice blue just to match that. So why not? Why not rep the ultra blue? So let's let's go for the ultra blue because that does look pretty swanky. It looks pretty swanky in the building. And yeah, we can put like a nice pearlescent onto it. I'm thinking like possibly a white just to give it that shine as you can see now. So let's do that. And yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. So secondary, it, okay, so it's the seats. Secondary is the seats. So that's pretty interesting. So let's put it in. This crew color is pretty interesting because it's like this purpley blue. So yeah, we might, well, I mean, we might as well, we might as well go for that. It's quite unique unless you have a crew color that color. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, let's do that, and then we can go to the actual uh, color of the interior, which we've already done. Roof rails. See, this is disappointing. This car. I feel like this car is disappointing in terms of customization. I really do. I really think it's quite a letdown because there's not much you can do with it. You know, with it. It's basically a worse version of the Moonbeam because the Moonbeam you could put skirts on it and things like that. This is just basically a massive copy and paste, but we're gonna rock with it anyway. And you know we're just gonna see what we can do. Wheels, as I said, I'm not a big fan of the overly 
overly expensive rubbish wheels that Benny offers. So we're just gonna uh, we're gonna see what we can do here. Um, kind of liking some some classic low rider wheels, but but yeah, it's um, I, I don't know, man. These cars are getting so repetitive, and there's so much money. Which who uses them? Like when's the last time you brought your Moonbeam out? Remember the first low rider? When's the last time you brought your Chino out? Remember the first low rider? It just it doesn't work. They don't the cars that you don't use. They need to they need to do sports cars. They need to do Zenta uh, supercars. They need to do things like that. But yeah, this is uh, this is Rockstar at the end of the day. So, um, but yeah, I mean I think this is pretty much done as you can see here. So I'm going for like a nice blue, um, ultra blue with the sort of purpley interior on the inside and now I'm just adding the final touches to the windows and things like that but yeah it's, it's probably one of the most disappointing cars to customise, there's no body kits, there's no skirts, there's, there's pretty much nothing but anyway we'll, uh, we'll, take, it for, uh, we'll take it for a quick spin uh, around the corner and uh, yeah we'll, uh, we'll see what that is but like I said these cars that Rockstar putting in, the DLC cars are just not my type whatsoever, I don't think anyone's type they're just they're all they're all right to see what they like customized, but then look like what am I meant to do with this car? I can't race in it because it's shite. You know, it's not exactly the best looking car. And there's other low riders that have more customization options. So yeah, so this is the car anyway that I've chosen. We're gonna have a look at the interior, and hopefully you guys uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. So personally, I wouldn't recommend buying this car because I do think it's a complete waste of money because. It just has no customization options on the outside, and that's pretty much a big deal. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.